so um, entrepreneurial. You did this, you did that, right? Um, like, how did you kind of get into this business that you're in now? Like, what was the genesis of that? Um, so I got into a really bad car accident uh, oh. in 2014 um, on on Christmas uh, Christmas Eve oh, or. No. The day, no, 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 actually, sorry. The day after Christmas. Okay. Um, so I had, I had been living with my ex. Um, like he, he was like my childhood. Like I didn't see him the way he saw me. Like he, like he's known me for my whole life and saw me as that girl that walks through the hallway. Like, you know, when time stops, mm -hmm. like I was always that girl to him. Sure. So we finally started dating and I, it, it was total reverse. Like I was obsessed more with him than mm -hmm. he was with me. And it, it turned into a detrimental ending of our, our relationship where I was depressed for a year. And I was in the industry of creating uh, design. I was a designer and a creative director for some pretty major brands. Yeah. And I just felt lifeless. I felt like everything was just not good enough. And so this car accident actually was something that I kind of manifested. Okay. Um, it was the day after Christmas. I was driving home from the gym and it was like 6 a.m. And I saw this car coming into the intersection and I had a green light. He didn't. I was going like 65 mm -hmm. already. And there were so many moments where I could stop but I just didn't want to. And, and you were already in a dark place. I was already in a really dark place. Okay. Like there was just like nothing left of me. I yep. was, I was ve it very much like, Oh, this is perfect. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? I can just end this right now. And so, um, I went into it, not breaking and just fully going full stream speed ahead and hitting him. Um, and I woke up in the hospital hmm. and the doctor was so impressed that I didn't, I didn't have anything broken on me. Wow. I mean, my C4, C5 was messed up. I had all actually, all other injuries. Like yeah. my nervous system was a mess like for months and stuff. But because I didn't break, I didn't die. Mm. Um, and that's normal because y you, you hear all these stories about drunk people surviving really gnar gnarly car accidents it's yeah. because they're not, they're not stressed and they're not holding the breakdown and being really like straight yeah. because that's when you break everything and kill yourself. Sure. So I was loose and I was like closing my eyes and I was like, just take me. Oh my. And that's, that's when I realized like my purpose. Um, I, I felt, you know, I, I you know, I'm Christian. So mm -hmm. I, I, I felt the power of God at that moment and I realized what I was here for. Hmm. And so it wasn't my time. Hmm. And, you know, I had no money to my name. I was starting a business plan in bed. I, you know, I was my, my, my boyfriend who took the place of my ex was coming over, icing me every day. Like my whole body was a mess. Sure. But I knew that when I got out of that bed, that I was going to make something of myself. Mm. And that's what happened is like, I just didn't stop. I just was like, this is going to happen for me. I know it is. And I was not scared anymore. Yeah. The word no wasn't fear. After having something that traumatic, you don't have fear, sure. you know, because like, what do you what do you have to lose? Nothing. It's an awakening. Yeah. It really is. And, and it, it's very, very powerful because mm -hmm. I remember the first year of having that power. I was like, man, no, I'm untouchable. Like mm -hmm. you cannot say anything that will offend me. You mm. know, like nothing will break me right now. So yeah. it was really, really a cool experience. And, yeah. and I, and I really appreciate that experience because I know a lot of people don't get that opportunity, Sure, you know, in their life at ever to like understand the chance of having a second chance. Mm -hmm.